Welcome to the first video tutorial in mini tutorial series. My name is Alberto Cordero and this is the School Team Training Zone. Okay, first I got this little guy. You probably know this guy from my previous live streams. So I'm gonna select this guy and it's selected but I have only render. Okay, there we go. And I go to add modifiers in the modifiers panel. I display the list and I'm gonna select here multi resolution. So once I add the, the modifier, you're gonna see that everything is empty. And uh, this is very simple, all right? So if I want to subdivide this guy, I go here and I press subdivide. So you can see the level of subdivision is going up. And if I press, and you can see one right here, if I, if I hit again, so you're going to see that it's going to increase every time you hit the button subdivide, right? So it's, that's pretty simple. So that works exactly like uh, subdivision surface. So in this case, <clears throat> let me show you the magic of multi-resolution. And I'm going to select quick dot gray. There you go. I love this one. All right, so if you want to like go and I say, okay, this is too high. I don't want to like in preview. I'm not a sculpting. I'm, doing, I'm not doing anything. I just want to have like a low resolution in, in the in the preview. I just go here and I say, okay, I don't want any subdivisions if I'm not a sculpting. And that there you go. So you're not going to lose any details. When you go to school mode, you see that you have the three levels of subdivision in school mode. And in rendering, you still have three uh, levels of divisions. You can actually control this. And if in school mode you want like a level one, you go one. If you want two, you go two. So you actually don't lose any uh, details. And I'm going to show you that. So if I go and I sculpt, let's say I press this one. All right, I got this one selected. And I'm going to a little bit more. And I'm sculpting here. Let me take this off. Right, this one. Let's say I'm in sculpting here, right? Right there. It's too high. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and I want to move something here, but if I move here, it's going to be kind of weird because I have a lot of subdivisions, right? So let's say I, I want to like a low resolution. I go like level one. So here I can actually move better because I don't have uh, like a lot of subdivisions. It's not going to be heavy for my computer. Is it not going to explode or something like that? So in a low resolution, and if I go zero, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen because this is, is a non-destructive process. So if you go up, you can actually see all the levels. It's very easy. It's very simple. And it's not going to be applied in the, in the model until you hit this button right here, apply. So if you, you see all that um, wireframe right there, if you go here and you say optimal display, the physical subdivisions are the zero. If you go school mode out, you're gonna see that preview is the one you're in optimal display. It, it doesn't matter what level you have, it's always gonna be like that. So if you go in preview, go say uh, three, you can actually see what's, what's going on, all right? Okay guys, before we go, let me show you something else. Yeah, this is another example on how Calvin Clark and Simple, they, how they work. If I press like Simple and I hit Subdivide, there's nothing happening in the queue. But I have the subdivisions. If I hit one more Subdivide, you're going to see that it's subdivided in the object. But I can see it because he's, he's maintaining the same shape. So if I hit this one, you're going to see that the algorithm in, the, in this shape is going to like shrink everything is going to smooth the whole surface that's how it works so i have this option right here delete higher if i go like let's say i'm out of school mode right and i go to preview and i say okay i am in uh, level three and i want to delete level four i go here and I say delete higher and he gonna delete the higher uh, subdivision level that i have but be careful with this because if you have something in that level, sculpted, he's going to actually delete that. You need to have that in mind when you're actually working 
with this option, okay? All right, guys, this is all for today. Hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed the process. Hope you actually learned something more about multi-resolution. If you haven't subscribed already, just go and subscribe. It's going to help me a lot. And uh, see you in the next tutorial, all right? Bye-bye.